Your next comic, uh, he's been coming to Drop Comedy Club for a hot minute now. Uh, we love him to death. Let's give it up for John Freitag. Six foot four ninja. <laughs> so uh, I didn't prepare a lot for today. I wrote a lot of my jokes at work this morning. Uh, so I wore fun socks to distract you from what's about to happen up here. Uh, I recently moved back in with my mom. I'm 27 and obviously successful. Um, it's not that weird, except uh, the day after I moved in with my mom at work, my boss decided to tell everybody which is great when you're an adult and you're moving back with your mom and all your coworkers are like, oh wow, you're a loser. <laughs> uh, and it's not that bad. Like every night I get to watch Wheel of Fortune with her. I get to play Euchre. She gets to meet and introduce herself to the girl who was drunk at the bar the night before with me. And it's, it's a weird thing living with your mom because, like, how do you how do you invite somebody over for the night? And you're like, hey, uh, I think she made my bed. She probably did my laundry. And guess what? She'll make s'mores for us. <laughs> so sexy. <laughs> living with my mom has kind of brought up some childhood memories for me. Um, just having the parental unit there. Um, when I was young, me and my older brother sat my mom and dad down one Easter morning. I remember the sun coming in through the window. Uh, the rays were particularly beautiful. And we sat them down and we're like, so we saw you putting grass in the baskets last night. We assume that this means that you are the Easter Bunny. They're like, well, hold on. I'm like, no, 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 that's fine. It's OK. We, we're adults. We, we understand. Because that's how seven and ten year olds talk. Um, and they were like, so we assume that Santa isn't real either. And they tried to argue their way. And we're like, no, 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 that's fine. It's cool. It's cool. Here's our list of demands. Like, <laughs> they look at the sheet of paper and they're like, this is your Christmas list. I'm like, it's April. Don't forget it. <laughs> and the worst part about that is my little brother believed in Santa until he was 15. I remember sitting at the dinner table when he found out. We were just casually talking, and we were like, Mom and Dad were like, oh, what do you guys want for Christmas? And we were like, oh, we want to buy it, we want this. He's like, why are you telling them? I'm like, they buy our gifts. They're like, no, they don't. Santa does. I'm like, what do you mean? I'm like, Santa's real. I'm like, this explains why you've been bullied, but <laughs> where's your logic? And he's like, well, when I was 10 years old, I put a, a white blanket down on the steps. And when I woke up, there were there were set marks on them from boots I didn't recognize. Uh, turns out, for 15 years, my dad and my mom were fucking with my little brother. <laughs> they would they would go to the neighbor's house, they'd go pick up their boots, they'd stop and just sit in our fireplace, and they'd walk down the comforter. I let him borrow one of my cameras, and he put it in the Christmas tree, and my dad, dressed as Santa, came down the stairs, turned off the camera, and was like, uh, naughty boys, don't get gifts, and turned off and put it away. So for 15 years, my brother was bullied because he believed in a fictional creature because my parents loved him. <laughs> That's kind of fucked. Another memory that I popped up is like there were a lot of times growing up where I, I thought my friends were being paid uh, to be my friends, um, which logically, like, I didn't come from a wealthy family. It didn't make sense. But to me, I was like, you know, I don't like me. So somebody's got to be paying you to like me. And I always wanted to, like, grab one of them and shake them by the shoulders and be like, hey, if you let me in on the cut, they don't have to know that I know that they're paying you to be my friend. And that's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the sacks, they're so fun. <laughs> this morning at uh, my job, we had an all work meeting. Uh, we walked in, and the slide said, Drugs in the workplace. And I was like, Hold on, wait a minute. There are drugs in the workplace? <laughs> Who didn't tell me? Turns out they wanted to talk about uh, hey, you get prescribed a new drug and you gotta get used to it before you come into work, which I've never heard of. I just pop some painkillers, go right into work, work in some heavy machinery. OSHA's safe. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> but the secretary who was giving the presentation had just come back from the gathering of the juggalos, which I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's, it's wild, it's a party. And we had slides about prescription drugs and uh, uh, what, allergy meds, and there was a drug that was like, oh, illegal drug. It was like cocaine and meth, acid and all that. And every time she would refer to this list, she wouldn't say, these are illegal drugs. She would say, these are the fun drugs. <laughs> Knowing where she came from, I didn't doubt that she knew that these were the fun drugs. It's just a weird time to like figure out that your secretary at your professional business likes to party on the weekends and never invited you. I actually wrote socks again. So socks again. Um, at the same job, um, we have pizza parties and we'll order food for like people's birthday parties. My roommate, he got uh, chicken tenders and potato wedges from the gas station down the road, which is not very festive. But I like to eat healthy and um, I work out. So every time we order food, the staff acts like I'm like diseased or allergic. They're like, is this good for you? Can you have this? Is this all right for you? I'm like, yeah, Carol, it's fine. I just want to live past 60. <laughs> I run a, a youth fitness program at the gym I work out at. Um, one of the kids I work out with is uh, very morbid and likes like the darker side of the internet. He recently asked me what I would do in a zombie apocalypse. Uh, apparently, lathering myself up with butter and jumping into the fray was not the right answer. <laughs> Also at the gym, we have a rule um, where if you're working out, you have to wear a shirt because it's just gross if you don't. And there's this group of kids that comes in like every day, and I'm the only one there as late as they are, and they all take their shirts off. And more than once, I've had to go up to them and be like, look guys, I love looking at my friend's nipples as much as the next guy. I love checking myself out and getting erect for myself, but uh, you guys gotta put a shirt on, it's gross. And you've never seen more muscle-bound men run out the door as fast as they did. I got two more things. Uh, this one's quick, and it's gross. Uh, why can our bodies feel spicy on the way out but not sweet? Like, have you ever had like a spicy burrito and the next day when you're on the toilet, you feel it, and you're like, ooh, that wasn't so great. Every once in a while, I would love it if I just got like a little kiss of sugar between you. Just a little round of bubble. And the last thing, I'm sure all you guys uh, know this feeling, but we all work jobs, nine to five, whatever, regular hours. Do you ever think about how easily you could be kidnapped? Like, yes. <laughs> yeah, so do I. Uh, obviously. But like, I work out at the same time every day. I, I work one of my three jobs at the same time every day. I eat the same thing every day. If I wanted, if somebody wanted to like assassinate me or kidnap me, they could throw something in my eggs for breakfast, throw something in my meal for lunch, or like just sit outside of my work with a white van that said, here, come pet a tiger, because I would love to come pet a tiger. <laughs> and the next day I'll be on your milk cards. <laughs> anyway, that's all I've really got. Um, thank you guys. And <laughs> Jump right there, everybody. Let him hear it. Let him hear it. Let him hear it. Oh, yeah. Three things. So, John, I don't have any juggles in my work, but I do got all the drugs. <laughs> Two.